Well, I'm finally making it back into the tree stand tonight and it feels like it's been a while. It's been, I haven't hunted since opening day. Uh, we've had rain for a couple days straight now and uh, my time, my schedule just wasn't allowing it. But tonight I'm finally making it out and man, it is a picture perfect fall day. I mean, there isn't a cloud in the sky. Uh, beautiful, beautiful blue skies. Uh, they say it's gonna get pretty cold here tonight after the sun uh, drops down below the horizon. I'm actually going into a spot I call the water hole. Uh, I have a trail camera in that area and it has just been loaded up with deer. Uh, it had a lot of buck early season, uh, earlier in the summer, and they all sort of found a new feeding pattern, but the doe have still been hitting it very religiously here morning and evening. So and quite a number of doe there also. I've hung that stand uh, a couple weeks ago. It was a pretty drizzly day. I hung it, actually still have the poison to prove it. Uh, it seems no matter what, when I find a perfect tree to hang a stand in, it's littered with uh, poison ivy. But got a stand in there. I'm going to be quiet here soon. Going to get into the woods, uh, slip into that stand, hopefully pretty quiet without busting things. And uh, if we don't see a single deer tonight, it's still going to be uh, a victory, I think, just because of the beautiful night. I'm just going to simply enjoy my surroundings. So follow along. There's a chance we'll see something tonight. Well, I've made it in here, and I think I made it in clean. I didn't see any deer or hear anything run as I got in here, but man, did I work up a sweat. Uh, we have a little bit of a breeze here this evening. It has a eastern lake component, which is exactly what I need, but it's a north east northeast wind. The north part's going to be just so uh, going to work here. I have really thick thick bedding up here behind me that I expect them to come from and like I mentioned there's a water hole down here in front of me um, and there's two different ways the deer can come in two different areas uh, if they come in that way I'm gonna be fine if they come from this thicket here it's gonna be borderline we'll see what my my sense doing but sometimes you just gotta push the envelope a little bit so
Well, that was a great encounter. I had that daughter fawn come right into the water hole, did exactly as I had planned. I had her at 21 yards, I think I ranged her when she was standing there broadside, but a little bit of a limb with some leaves uh, while she was at the water hole. And I could have squeezed a shot in there, but call me soft or call me maturing, but I just don't feel like I have to take a shot every single time I see a deer, so. I elected to pass on her, and I'm not saying I won't shoot a doe with a fawn, but as I showed you, that whole group of doe have been coming in here, and there's plenty of those that don't have any fawns at all, so still have another hour, hour and a half here before sunset, so there's still plenty of time, and just an absolute beautiful evening, like I had said earlier here, so I'm just going to continue to enjoy myself out here in the woods. What did you think of those two coons? Man, I thought they were coming right up in the tree there with me. Uh, they hung around at the base of my tree. I wasn't sure what they had up their sleeve, but they ended up moving on out the woods then. Um, ended up the night, great night, seeing over, I think, six or seven different deer. Uh, of course, those first two were the only ones that came close enough to give me a shot opportunity, and I elected to pass uh, on that doe. Uh, 
out of camera light and I actually came out here to do the exit interview just because I had deer even close so I could hear them around me at, right at dark and I didn't want to spook them more than I had to so um, like I said fun night curious what you think about me passing them I just uh, too selective uh, too soft for not killing that doe uh, leave a comment down in the comment section I'd love to hear from you I appreciate you following along this is a lot of fun uh, if you haven't subscribed, do so. I'm planning on uh, continuing to update my archery season here in PA. I'll give updated videos. Uh, I'm planning on being in the tree again tomorrow morning somewhere. I don't think it'll be the water hole, but I'm planning on being in the tree somewhere. So. There we go, Mr. Coon. Kick the show off here again this morning. Just like we ended it last night with Coons. We started it again this morning with a Coon. Right here at first light. So, back in the stand. Um, the same spot I hunted opening day. And I uh, haven't seen any deer yet, but just a bunch of squirrel and that Coon here. So, got a really good wind for the stand again. That's why I'm back in it. It's one of my best stands for this wind but sun should soon be coming up over the mountain here maybe warm things up a little bit it's actually dipped into the high 30s again this morning so another beautiful fall morning uh, I'm gonna sit back and enjoy the show
Well, that's another hunt, another close call. I've been on the deer. We've been close about every single time. I just can't quite get all the pieces to come together. My wife told me, she was very adamant, we are very much in need of venison, so she's ratcheting up the pressure, so I gotta get it done here one of these times. And we're close, it'll come together here, uh, hopefully sooner than later. Well, that's pretty well gonna wrap it up for this morning's hunt. I'm gonna pack up my gear and get it out of here. Uh, I appreciate you following along. This is a lot of fun. I'm going to continue to do updates as my season unfolds here. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.